Hey everybody, hey everybody, Jeremy Redman here from Task Magic. <clears throat> and Kyle from Task Magic. But sometimes you wouldn't think he was from Task Magic because of the way sometimes he makes videos in the middle of the videos. I tell you. How do I tell you how to make videos, Kyle, quick? Uh, let's start from the beginning. Start from the beginning and go slow, right? Yes. This is That's Kyle's mistake, not my mistake. I'm going to show you how I do videos, and I'm dragging Kyle with me. You ready, Kyle? Ready to be drug? Go for it. Yes. All right. So here's how we do it. No mistake style. You're going to watch this video to get started. This is as if, Kyle, you're going to act like the like the most non-intelligible human being you possibly can, okay? Okay. Perfect, just like that. Okay, <laughs> now, here we go. Share my share the screen, my friend. So, we're, we got a couple questions, a couple newbie questions here. I just want to go over this. Over, I want, I want everyone, it doesn't matter, your gender, what you look like, how old you are. You should be 5 or 85, and you should be able to at least follow these guidelines that I'm about to do to get completely set up, okay? Now, after you purchase from AppSumo or our site, you go through the Stripe paywall, anything, okay? You will be given, you will be, you will see this screen. Is that correct, Kyle? The download screen? That is. Cool. Now, we purposefully mention this text, okay? And this text. We're hoping that people are reading something. So you got to at least do yourself the, you do this deal for me. Read the text we have on the screen for you, okay? So, all right. Download the desktop app to, at desktop app to access full functionality and web recording. What does that mean? That means, okay, and, well, that means in order to use browser recording and guided templates, you need to, and desktop recording, you need to have the desktop app and use that desktop app, which is why we're telling you to download it, okay? It's not just download this and then you can use the web app, just for clarification, okay? So um, this was the first question here um, from this person. Who we love, love apps with links. All right, I know you guys are trying to get newbies like me going, that's our goal. Uh, and you have, and I have a background in coding. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Sometimes it's almost counterintuitive, right? This is almost like learning a new skill. Browser automation is a new skill, okay? It's not anything related to, I'm technical, I can do this. It's almost the contrary. If you're technical, you're probably gonna overthink this, all right? Kyle, would you add anything there? Yeah, I think it's I think it's simple in a way that technical people overcomplicate it. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, cool. Lots of holes. Let's clear up them holes. Let's uh let's shove dirt back in the holes. All right. Fill them. Let's fill the holes, is what I meant. Example one. I know how to click new automation. Terrific. Okay. But then I have to choose what I want to use. So it tells me to download the app. Exactly. Okay. What they are talking about is this is the web app, okay? In the web app, you can see your automations, right? My automations, my workspaces. And then if I click new automation, guided templates, download the desktop app, okay? So let's just say I make, a, and then web, download desktop app. Oh, but apps, okay? I can use apps. So you can build apps-based or API-based automations in the web app here right? Here's where I'm at. Now you click this and then it will go and open that builder. Okay. So that's good. But if I see download desktop app or web, let's see, I make, I want to make a, a web automation. Okay. I then come here and I click. Well, I, well, Hey, we're putting together, right? That that's what you want. Now it tells you download the desktop app to access full functionality and web recording. But you're like, well, do I need this? Well, here, check this out. In the web app, you can set up apps-based automations and manage automations, but you need the desktop app to run web automations, okay? That's the browser-based stuff. That's the button you just clicked on, okay? So you download this, all right? So I think we covered the web app and its functionality, correct, Kyle? Yep. Great. 
So the first thing should always be download, and that's this. Boom, okay? Because now when I go to new automation, boom, it doesn't have that because I can do these things. I can go to guided templates. If you go home, I can go to web-based or apps or desktop in beta. So let's go back. Next question. So there's that, okay? No clue. I would argue there's a clue. And that clue is the download button, okay? <laughs> that you need to use that, or the text. That text would be the clue, all right? That would be the clue. Not making fun of this. Just addressing, like, hey, that would be, that would be, when you say all caps, no clue. The clue would be this text and the download button because it says to download it, to use it. I'm, I'm just saying that there's a clue. Okay, now, example two. I want to get a URL from Google Sheets, then look it up and grab some data from it. Then record that data, then come to another URL and do the same. But it opens up a different browser than my default one. Correct. Okay. Now, if we go to the desktop app, which means, but you only get that if you have the desktop app. So you do have the desktop app. All right. So we go to web. Okay. Did you skip that? Because this here, uh, are you logging in? Saving sessions, 2FA, watch this video to add cookies. I'm so you say, tips on hand, are you logging in? Are you logging in? All right. So your answer to this would be, yes, I'm logging in. Okay. Oh, we have that. We have that option. Yes, I am logging in. Not on this one. Okay. So you should watch this video. Okay. But yes, I am. All right. Select from a previously used cookie Chrome profile, or if you want, paste new additional cookies. How do I get that though? You click this. Okay. Gives you step by step with a screenshot on how to do that. Do not, newbies, 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 do not skip or dismiss these prompts without learning what these things are. Because there are a couple learning curves here, right? How to do cookies. These are step by step. Okay. But we need you to pay attention to these things. These are the clues. Okay. These are the clues to help you learn this. All right. And then you just click here to paste once you got it. So it will open up your normal Chrome browser. Right. And if you're in LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever, then you grab the cookie from here. Right. Press this and then go back to the desktop app and then paste it. Okay. So continue without cookies. All right. Now, Yes, like we say here, okay? It opens up my new brow my new browser. We mentioned in the other video that you will have this. It's a Chromium browser. Look for that video here. Um, look for that video maybe in the description, all right? Maybe if we put it there, but we do have it. What is the Chromium window and how does this work? On the left, you see the prompt window, okay? And on the right, you see the Chromium window. So you just have to be very intentional. That's how you get going here. Kyle, am I missing anything yet? Nope. Okay. So all right, let me go back to the prompt here, the question. I'll exit this recording. Okay. And I'll go back. Not here, but here. Okay. So add your creds. Sure, you have to add your creds, but you don't know exactly where to do that. It's zero help. We tried to help. We tried to help with the pop-up. So when you click this and you hit new automation and you hit web and we have this, this is us trying to help. <laughs> but when you hit not on this one, we think, okay, you're not logging in. We just want that to be clear. Is there anything I got to add to that, Kyle? I don't, I don't think so. This is the help, just why. Okay, all right, so let me X out of this. All right, let me go back. All right, so, example, okay. So then you you say, where do I have my cred? That's how you add your creds. We put that pop up there. Make sure you have your creds. Make sure you have your, okay. Uh, I want to add a URL from Google Sheets, okay? 
we have a Google Sheets video and you either connect your Google here. So in the app, okay, web. Okay, well, we'll just go to any automation really fast. The frustration here is because you missed the start here part of doing it manually once and then connecting afterwards. That's yeah. why the beginning of the frustration is there, but yeah. Yeah, so like here we have a video that you should also watch, right? Which is, I don't know what to automate. What do I do? Okay, let's click on it. Here. Hey, that's me almost doing the same kind of thing. I don't know what to automate. What do I do? Which is also in our school course here. Classroom. Course. Right here. I don't know what to automate. What do I do? Okay. So this course really helps with a lot of this stuff as well. But you need to watch it and pay attention to it. That we are giving you the clues, a little more than the clues. We're trying to spoon feed. And that's again why I want to make sure everyone watches this so everyone can get it. All right. In my animated way, by the way. Um, okay. So Google Sheets. So here, trigger. So you can either use Google Sheets if you want to run through a list of Google Sheets. That's list as a trigger. Okay. List as a trigger here. You will add that later or can you add that in during your recording, Kyle? You add it afterwards. Okay. So you add your trigger later. All right. You can do from a list. Cool. Intermediate feature. We go over that, how to do it, how to do it. So continue anyways. All right. And this is how you connect it. You connect it all through here. All right. So go back here. Wait, I want to edit this. How do I edit it? Here, change. Okay. So here we can search Google Sheets or go to Google Sheets. That's how to connect that. Okay. Um, but again, you trigger this after your recording. All right. So just FYI. All right. Example three. Another intro video says, yippee, add tags. Okay. Yeah, that's Kyle's fault. That's what I just said. I was just blaming Kyle for that. All right. So adding tags. It is a secondary feature. And I know you said that. You just hover over this. But you wouldn't have known that because you didn't do one automation yet. But just play around with the tool. Have fun with the tool. Mess around. Okay. Then here, add tag. Boom. Kyle. When you make videos, please start from the home screen. Yeah? Yep. Okay. All right. So that's that one. All right. Example four, on and on. I really want to use Task Magic, but need about four more intro overviews. You have an intro, kind of do things where the overview is something like this. Here are three, four, five fundamental steps you need. Um, decide on the repetitive. Boom. So that is this video. Okay. I don't know what to automate. Now, I'm going to share that here. And I answered this as well. So I'm going to share it here. Okay. Video on what you wanted as well. Boom. Okay. So that's now put there and archived. I'm trying to, please help us newbies, right? Username. Good. So we don't use your uh, real name here. Great. Um, please take time to help us newbies. All we're doing is taking time. That's all we're doing here. Um, okay. So you got this. That's great. Hopefully this is one of those videos that helps you immediately get started. Okay. Follow the prompts, follow the things do only dismiss those pop-ups and don't watch those videos that are in the natural progression of the usability of the app. Let me back that up because that sounds confusing. While you're using the app, we throw in certain texts or prompts that you should be reading and watching the things we're showing you. You should only be dismissing them and not watching them if you already know what to do. And then if you know what to do and you go to new automation web in the desktop app, you can go don't show this again. Okay. And then you won't see those. So, or you won't see them there, but this is how you handle login, right? Are you logging in? All right. So that's how to handle that. Okay. Let me know in the comments, if anything else is Kyle, does anything else come to, we answered all of that, how to get started, right? 
Is there anything else that you would add there? No, I think that's it. Okay, cool. All right, great. Let me know, let us know in the comments um, how we can do this and how we can how we can help you more, how we can make this easier. I don't know exactly how to make it easier than how I just explained. So if someone is confused, if you're confused, SV or VG, SVG, file format, if you are confused, let me know. I am all open to can, but the whole all caps, no clue. We tried to give you clues, right? I'm trying, I'm confused on what more clues we could give without it, without over cluttering things, right? So again, I know I joke, but let me know, let me know where, what is, what is confusing. Because if we go again, if we go into the web app and it says download to use this and we put there in bold text, download to use this, let me know if this does not make sense. Let's not pile on anyone, but let me know, please, if something is confusing. That's why I'm here. That's why Kyle's here. That's why we're making these videos. Thank you so much. Like this, subscribe to this channel.